The one thing most churches don't talk about today is being free from sin. That's actually what they do not mention. So sin is part of what they don't mention. And a lot of times they make sin into what they call sin or what they believe is sin or not tithing is a sin and all different types of guilt trips but they actually don't get to what the bottom of really sin is and so what they're doing is they're playing people so much because they never actually talk about real uh, heinous sin like fornication they never really get far into that or adultery or homosexuality or drunkenness or lying or stealing they, these things barely they only get touched on so much or even just having hatred in your heart and bitterness in your heart and even having these the thoughts of these things hatred and murder and you know or hating your brother or sister um without cause in, in your heart or uh same with adultery you know all these things they really don't get talked about in churches anymore no they don't but on top of that what actually isn't getting taught is being free from sin so being made free from sin they teach you these these pastors and preachers and churches teach you like we're always going to be sinners we're going to sin every day there's nothing we can do so on and so forth they teach you such a false message because christ actually came and died to make us free from sin so we don't have to commit sin so we don't have to be a slave of sin anymore so we don't have to be a servant of sin they don't teach you that at all they're teaching you that you're always going to sin in thought word and deed because that's how they get away with stuff to be politically correct and to not lose their audience that's what they're doing and they they want to be you know these pastors and preachers want to be chief among people they want to be praised by men they want to have the fancy uh seats and the the uppermost seats in the synagogue all these types of things they want to be highly esteemed that's the truth and that is the truth they want to be called on when you know, a big crisis in the community happens so they can come and show up and say, oh, I'm so, you know, this, this and that and God, this and that. But they're not ever really calling people to repentance. They're never calling people to holiness. They're never calling, telling people they can be free from the sin that so easily entangles them, the sin that so easily besets them, the sin that so and even every weight that so easily uh, besets us, right? Um, so let, let's uh, actually I'm going to get some scripture and we're going to get into that right now. Just what even Hebrew says about that. Hold on. So Jesus says in John 8, 34, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, the slave of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Praise God. This is what Jesus is telling us, that we can be free from sin. We're not going to be a servant of sin anymore once he makes us free. Why aren't they teaching that in churches? You really have to ask yourself. You know, all the, <laughs> look, Jesus said it. The New Testament says it. You know, Paul says it. Peter says it. Everyone says it. Jude says it. Uh, everywhere it says that we can be, we, we're supposed to be free from sin, living dead to sin, alive to God. Let's go to, uh, uh, real quick let's see there's so many scriptures about this even Romans 6 let's go to Romans 6 so you can hear it verbatim exactly I can recite it but let's just you know go to it verbatim Romans 6 verse 1 what shall we say then what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein so there you go. We're supposed to be dead to sin, alive to God. You know, even Hebrews, I'm going to go to this last scripture, Hebrews 11 or 12. We're going to go to Hebrews 12, verse 1. We're going to go to Hebrews 12, 1. And right here, it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which 
do us so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of, of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Praise God. So with all that being said, that's right. We're supposed to strive against sin. We're supposed to cease from sin. We're supposed to be dead to sin. We're not supposed to continue in sin. And these churches don't preach that. So these churches, they're all, a lot of them are part of the occult witchcraft and all this type of stuff that they're really doing. These denominations of men. You know, Jesus did not die to start denominations of men, traditions of men. Not at all. So that goes from the false Catholic church to the pet false Catholic. A Pentecostal church and the Baptist church and all these types of men that are all carnal. Oh, I follow the Baptist teaching. I follow the you know Pentecostal, the Free Will Baptist, the this, the, the Methodist, the Lutheran, whatever. That is all nonsense, guys. Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Do not entangle yourself with all these unbelieving traditions of men and carnal men. That's what Paul even called it when they were starting to do this and say, "I'm of Paul and I'm of Cephas." He says, "We're all of Christ." You know, that's the truth. We're all of Christ. You know, one's of Apollos, one's of Cephas, one's of Paul. And Paul says we're all of Christ. So they're not teaching this. They're, they're teaching this. They're teaching that we can all be separate, but then all we're all in unity. We can all be, oh, I'm Pentecostal, I'm Baptist, I'm Catholic, I'm this and that. But we're all in unity. That's false stuff. So anyway... Don't get entangled with these false traditions and denominations of men. They all hold to false teachings, and that's the problem, all right? And if you really start studying and reading the Bible, you'll see that for yourself. But anyway, God bless you all. Until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you think. Make sure you follow us because we got more coming, and God bless you. The content's going to just keep coming. We're, we're standing hard for the Lord here, Christ and Kicks. God bless you all, and take care.